Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul here back for uh, another vlog. I didn't do a vlog last week or the week before, I think, but I sort of felt like I wanted to do one today just because I have had such a, a weird day today, man. It's uh, been interesting to say the least, um, but it was very weird and I want to talk about it on today's video. Um, also, while I'm here, sorry for the messy hair as per usual. Sorry for the messy backdrop i guess you could call it that um and shout out to far lands or bust while i'm here there we go that's that's my intro done i wanted to do that um but basically uh last night man i was i was in my kitchen there eating eating dinner and uh i i, I was just eating dinner as normal and all of a sudden like i bite down uh on a piece of meat i was eating pork chops if you want to actually me if you want me to be specific you know um, and all of a sudden, like, my, my entire left side of my mouth just went nuts, like, insane pain, and then within the next hour or two, the entire sort of left side swole up, and, uh, at first I thought, you know, it was maybe just, I don't know, some sort of nerve that I hit, I, I, I'm not really sure how, you know, the, the science behind the mouth works, maybe you'd have to ask the dentist, but, I don't know, my entire left side of my mouth started swelling up, and I started getting freaked uh, freaked out because I'm very uh, paranoid when it comes to everything. I have really bad anxiety actually when it comes to everything, and uh, when something happens to me, I start freaking out. So, I, as per usual, I went on Google, you know, search the symptoms. I'm gonna die. That's that's what comes up on Google. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Anything. If I have a headache, I Google it. You're gonna die. That's it. Um, but it kept coming up like maybe like a an abscessed tooth, which is basically when one of your teeth get infected and there's infection underneath the tooth. Um, there's a little backstory, I guess, for me. Like, up until I was about, like, 18 or 19, I had really, really bad dental hygiene. Like, I was slamming back, like, two liters of Coke a day, you know. Um, I brushed my teeth, but I didn't really do it well, so to speak. It was sort of like, oh, I have to brush my teeth. That's it. Um, nowadays I floss and use mouthwash and, you know, really take good care of my teeth, but unfortunately my, <laughs> my past self was a bit of a, a bit of an ass when it came to dental hygiene, so I am sort of reaping what he sowed, um, and, uh, that it is, you know, I feel my teeth aren't in perfect condition, um, and as a result of that I, I am feeling a bit of pain, so I was like, I'll give it a day, if it goes away, it goes away. I go to bed and I just can't get to sleep. Like, I keep waking up in the middle of the night and I'm starting to freak out at this point because the pain is, like, one of those things that, uh... One of those things that just won't go away. And I'm kind of like, okay. I'm gonna go try try and go back to bed. I go back to bed and wake up at 6 a.m. Now, for me, waking up at 6 a.m. means there's something wrong. I do not wake up at 6 a.m. You guys know me. I'm more likely to be up at 6 a.m. than I am to wake up at 6 a.m. I just woke up and my entire left side of my mouth was just... It was swollen the hell out. Like, literally, it was... Like, I took a right hook from Mike Tyson. Um, I said to my mom, like, I need to go to the, I need to get to go to the dentist today. I, I have a huge fear of the dentist. I have a huge phobia of uh, needles in general, but it just got to the point where I just couldn't do it anymore. So I was like, bring me to the dentist. Unfortunately, I, I was in England for the past three years, so I had to move my dentist over there. Um, so I had no dentist here, and it takes like a day or two to sign on. So if I did sign up, I probably wouldn't have got seen until three or four days from now. So I said, screw it. I went up to the hospital, um, and basically you can get treated there by uh, dentists, uh, but also students come and view the process just so they can learn. So I said, I really don't care. I mean, as long as I can get treated. And I went up, and uh, I got an x-ray taken on my mouth. It, it was really weird seeing the x-ray, you know, um, but... Yeah, it kind of confirmed what I already knew. Like, I've had two teeth on the left side of my mouth there for the past year. Actually, not the past year, past couple of years. It's just been causing me havoc. And uh, originally, I thought it was one of my wisdom teeth coming in. But fortunately, like, I've been lucky enough for my wisdom teeth not to have impacted anything. So, I mean, they came in okay. I've already got two in there, but those two are still coming in. Anyway, to cut the short story short, I have two teeth there that. that you know, it has got a lot of decay on it. Um, they asked me, like, do you want a root canal or do you want to take it out? I was like, take it out. I, I've heard horror stories about root canals, to be honest. And I don't, like, 
as long as as long as when I'm talking, it doesn't look like I have a missing tooth. I don't mind having like a tooth out from here or a tooth out from there. I have a tooth out in that side that I got extracted, and now I have a tooth out in this side that I got extracted. You guys probably can't notice. I'm not going to show it on camera because there's honestly like a huge a pool of blood in my mouth <laughs> this entire day. Like it's been awful because it's been the new release of the Pokemon games, of course. But every five seconds, I've had to. Not five seconds, I guess. Every 15 minutes, I've had to pause my commentary and go and, uh, you know, spit in the sink or something because there's just been a huge amount of blood. Like, I think the last time I got my, my teeth taken out was maybe when I was 16, so um, not too bad. I will say, though, the dentist was not as half bad as I imagined. Like, I had a really bad phobia of needles. I, I don't know if I should be telling you this, but when I was, like, 10, 11, I had to go in for a needle in primary school, and I fainted during the needle. Um, and that kind of like stuck in my mind, but it wasn't too bad today. Like the first, it was like a bee sting and then my mouth like felt like a balloon. So there you go. I have one less tooth now that I'm talking to you guys. Um, my issue is though, I have to go in, I have to go back to the dentist on Tuesday just to get a checkup and, uh, I might have to get another tooth taken out. I'm not sure. Um, or I might have to get a root canal, which doesn't sound fun, but you know, I'm, I've always been one of those people who's ran away from their problems, like, thinking things will get better on their own, and today was actually a big wake-up call for me, like, some things don't get better, and, like, I was kind of thinking, if I, if I don't get this scene to, then I'm just gonna go down this path of horrible dental hygiene, so I may as well face my phobia, um, it was actually interesting, because when I was getting my tooth taken out, there was a bunch of students there, a similar age to me, um, I graduated this year, but obviously uh, dental school is, I think, five or six years in the UK. So they were there. Um, very interesting, actually. Very interesting. Um, I just couldn't go into something like that because I have... Uh, <laughs> I don't really take kindly to blood. I don't know why. I just... Blood freaks me out, man. I know my body is composed of it, but when I see, like, a cut or something, I'm like, Ugh. I don't want to go there. But it was, it was a big wake-up call for me. Like, everyone there is just going at it and really building their profession and building their careers and I'm going to be totally honest, like, the past couple of days, I was in a big slump. Just, like, what do I do in my life? Oh, I'm so depressed. Why always me? Why always me? But just going there and seeing, like, a bunch of people my own age just go for it. I know, obviously, they're going to university still, and I was like that when I went to uni, but it's nice just to be surrounded by some hardworking people who are going and improving on their lives. I think that's a big thing about the YouTube thing I'm doing. I don't get to see anyone. Like, I, I my social life has taken a huge cut because of this YouTube thing, and while I have, you know, hundreds of new friends I've met online, all around the world, my friends in real life, I rarely get to see anymore, like, I'm, I'm trying to do that, you know, I, I, don't get me wrong, I'm improving my social life quite a bit, by meeting my friends again, but it's just that there's a lot of hours in this, and you work very late, I mean, it's 3am now, so, that's that, um, but that's where I've been, and recording today has been tough, very tough, actually, um, just because of that, because of the actual, uh, extraction, and obviously that's gonna bother me for the next couple of days, and who knows, I'm gonna have to get another one next week, so, fun times ahead for me, um, other than that, I don't think much has been going on, guys, um, sorry, I'm just zoning out there for a second, so I'm gonna complete Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, there is a lot of uploads going up, bear with me, a lot of people ask, like, why do you, why, why do you do that for, why do you upload the entire game in like two or three days, why don't you push one video a day? Well, a little thing about how YouTube works is, um, for me right now on my channel, to be growing, I have to get myself out there. And the only way I can get myself out there right now is either by doing collabs or by doing uh, new games. When you put new games out, you put tags and stuff in, um, and usually if you're one of the first uploaders, you'll rank quite highly on the search page. So, like, for, for example, today I've got, like, 500 new subscribers just from uploading that. So that's kind of why I want to get it out. Um, by the way, if you're wondering what tooth I got taken out, it's, like, there. Can you see it? There's, like, a little hole there. Um, that's what I got taken out. It isn't too obvious, but I'm not sure. I might have to get the one next to it taken out. As long as it isn't my front teeth, that's what's freaking me out. Like, I don't want to be walking down the street and, uh, you know, having, like, a hole in my teeth or something. In the middle of my mouth, sorry. Just, I would be uh, a bit annoyed at that, but, yeah, hopefully this, there's, you know, a lot of the pain's gone away today that I had previously, yesterday, but I'm still sore from getting taken out, so videos might be a little bit slow, um, I'm still uploading, 
one Pokemon episode every three hours. Uh, I just got a lot of that recorded. When I get into games like that, I just really enjoy them. Other than that, guys, I think that is me. I think that is me for today. Um, so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and go at it this week. Really, just do well on the channel. Not only the channel, I want to do well in real other things that I'm aiming towards. So I said uh, I'm gonna sit down with myself when I wake up in the morning and hopefully write down a few things I want to do this week. You know, short-term goals, monthly goals, and see what I can do from there. Um, but other than that, guys, I am going to mm, probably finish off a recording and then try and get some sleep. I'm not really tired, but it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you have a nice day. Paul, send it out. Bye-bye.